Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's turkey day and it's time to get those birds out and get them on the smoker. And that's what we're doing today. I have never done a turkey cook. Never done a Thanksgiving how-to, never done a how to smoke a turkey in like six years. So that's what we're doing today. We're gonna take this 12 pound bird that I picked up at the local grocery store. Um, already thawed everything like that you can still find those if you're if you're in a pinch you can still find them but you might have to pay for them uh, this was like 230 a pound or something like that um, but we're going to go ahead and i'm going to show you how i season it up i have for every year for the last few years and it's always a hit it's super simple super easy and here's only the only things that you're going to need to do it some creole butter and some Creole seasoning. That's it. And a little regular butter, of course. So I picked this bird up. We got these things of Tony Sasheries. You don't have to use that brand. I'm not sponsored by them. But hey, Tony, holla at your boy. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I season it up and what temperature I run on the pit boss and what it looks like when it's done. This bird's actually going to my buddy um, and his family so that they'll have a smoke turkey before they head out of town to go to their families. So that's what we're doing today. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is get this bird injected. Now, like I said, I'm just using the um, Tony Sashery's injectable Creole style butter. Now, if you're carnivore guys, I know a lot of you watch me for that. This probably isn't a carnivore recipe. I'm sure this stuff has stuff in it that's not uh, for the faint of heart. I don't see any sugar, so that's pretty good. And there's no carbs. so. Maybe if you're dirty carnivore, you'd use this. But what I do is I just go ahead and start getting it injected. I mostly inject the breast and the thighs. I don't really inject anywhere else. These are some pretty large drumsticks, so I may go ahead and shoot some in there too. But one of the keys to doing this, if you want a good, nice skin when you're done cooking, is don't inject through the skin. Don't be afraid to lift the skin up and inject underneath the skin, okay? And I just do a little push and just kind of go around randomly where I'm going to inject. There's really no method to the madness. Once you start to see it bubble up a little bit, you're usually pretty good. So not only does this stuff flavor your bird, it's gonna keep it moist and juicy throughout the cook. Now on the thighs, it's kind of hard to get to. Um, you can go inside the cavity here and get down in there and just pump it full. But if you have to, you can go through the skin down there. If you want to hit the wings, you can. We're just trying to get as much flavor in these things and as much juice and moisture and uh, things like that to just keep it wet throughout the cook. All right, so now that we've got our bird injected, we're just gonna go ahead and kind of pat the skin dry a little bit, just to get a little bit of that excess um, Creole butter off of there and to help that skin dry out for the next step. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take some butter. I've got two sticks of butter here and we're gonna cut it into um, little butter pads. Now what I do is I just take each pad and I lay it up under the skin. I might throw some in the cavity um, and through up on the breast. I'm just trying to save and, and protect this breast meat as much as I can because it's really easy to dry out, but I've never had a problem in the past doing it this way. So we'll just take a little bit of our butter and we'll just throw it in there wherever it wants to go. As this butter melts, it's going to flavor that breast. It's going to keep that breast nice and juicy and moist and it's going to be delicious. I'm telling y'all, this is the best way to make a turkey. Now, I left a little bit of a stick uh, larger because we're going to go around and we're going to coat all this skin. This is going to work as our binder. We're not using mustard or anything like that that we normally would. We're just using butter. So now that we've got our butter just slathered all over this turkey, we're going to go ahead and get it seasoned up. Now, this may offend some people, but I don't season the bottom side of my turkey, uh, mostly because there's no reason to. It's going to be sitting in this pan the entire cook, 
Um, that way we can catch and render all of those juices and I can use that to baste over the top. My main priority is this, this top breast right here. That's all that I really want to make sure that I take care of. All these other meats, the drums and the thighs, they're gonna to need to go to a higher temperature anyway. And we're just gonna be watching this temp on the breast here. Make sure once it comes up to about 160, 165, that we're pulling this thing off because we don't wanna overcook that turkey breast. So we're just using the Tony Sasheries, like I said, the Creole seasoning. And we're just gonna liberally apply this to the bird. Now don't worry about using too much seasoning because anything that doesn't hit the bird and lands in the pan, that's just going to add flavor to that juice and that butter once it melts and you'll be able to base that over. So let's go ahead and once, now that we've got our little wing tips seasoned up, we're going to pick the bird up and we're just going to tip them in behind the neck flap. Just like that. Oh, we lost a piece of butter. Now i got to clean the counter. So here's what it looks like once we get those wings uh, tucked in on the back. And as you can see, the butter ball um, from the factory, they just go ahead and tuck the legs down in like the tail um, part of the skin on the back. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing, uh, give this thing time to rest up a little bit. Let everything kind of soak in, let that butter kind of do its thing with the seasoning. And we're going to wait on the pit boss to come up to temperature. I'm going to run it 250 degrees today. It's a little bit higher than I normally cook at, but I think it's going to do okay with this skin and everything like that. I think it's going to take care of it pretty good. So there we go. That's how you season up your bird. That's how I do it. I don't stuff the, the cavity with anything. Sometimes I've, I've done like onions and apples and stuff like that in the past, but also I've, I've done it without it and I've seen that it cooks pretty even all the way through and I don't have to worry about it. If your bird looks pretty even, if it looks symmetrical, I think you're going to be okay. It's going to cook pretty even. Sometimes they stuff it so that the breast cooks um, with the same time that the thighs and the legs, but I've never really seen any issue with it. So whatever you feel like doing, that's the good thing about cooking. Do it how you want, but this is my tried and true method. All right, folks, so the bird just went on. I went ahead and poked through the skin with the probe just because I wanted to make sure I was right in the heart of the breast for the temp. So we're going to run 250 uh, for about an hour and check it, see what it's looking like. And that's when I'll check back in with y'all. We'll see how long this takes. As far as um, minutes per pound or anything like that, I don't really know what this bird will do. Um, all that's dictated by your temps and by the size of the bird and if you stuff it or not or you know, all kinds of factors factor into that. So we just check it about every hour or so, see what it's doing. I'm going to assume this is going to take about six hours, um, but we'll see what happens. All right. All right. So we're one hour in, um, the pit is running 250 degrees. Um, we're showing an internal temperature on the probe of 107. Um, I don't know if that's hundred percent accurate. Of course, we'll use the Thermapro, um, to check that also. You see here in the middle, it's showing we're running about 260 degrees, which is fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so as you can see, a lot of that butter is already starting to melt and render. And then we're going to, the seasoning is already starting to sit on here. So I think we're doing pretty good. We're going to just go ahead and let it ride. We're going to give it another hour, check back in. We'll probably probe it with the um, instant read thermometer at that point just to see what kind of variations we're having from the internal to the instant read. All right, so we'll check back in with y'all in about an hour. <clears throat> All right, it's been three hours. I'm gonna go out here and check the uh, turkey. Still running 250. Uh, the middle probe here is showing we're about 310. That's what it's looking like so far. The probe temp. It's showing 154. Like I said, I don't think that is accurate. We're going to uh, continue to let it ride. I'll probably give it another hour and then I'm going to start basting. Um, I'm going to check the uh, instant read probe and see what it's actually showing because I just don't trust uh, that this probe is working right. Yeah, and just like I figured, so the instant read is showing uh, 131. 
uh, right there in the thickest part of the breast. So I'm not really going to pay attention to the probe from the pit boss. We're just going to start probing using the thermopop there. All right, guys, we're four hours in. Um, let's take a look at the bird, see what it's looking like. I went ahead and basted it with all the juices um, the la after the last clip. So it's looking really good. So as you can see, that skin is getting nice and golden brown. Let's go ahead and baste it again. Just get some color back on here. Super windy and cold out today, so I'm actually surprised that this has gone as quick as it has. I guess that's what going a little bit hotter and a little bit faster does for it. So 157 on that side. Yeah, see what I mean? Cooking pretty even. Let's take a look at our thigh down here. So yeah, 164. So it's actually doing really good. I'm gonna crank the temp up just a little bit to um, see if we can get this skin a little bit crispy. It's it's not very crispy at all right now. So we're gonna go ahead, this last 10 degrees or so, we're gonna go ahead and crank the temperature. All right guys, there we have it. It's literally the easiest way to smoke a turkey. Um, and it happens super quick. <clears throat> we're running right at five hours. We're about 15 minutes shy of five hours on a 12 pound bird. Uh, you really can't beat that. I'm looking at probably six to seven hours on Thursday, um, cooking three whole breasts. So just a single bird on your smoker. I think it's gonna be awesome for you. If you've never tried it, try it out. This thing came out awesome. I don't even have to taste test it to know Obviously, I'm not going to either because it's going to a friend of mine, but look at this thing. I mean, we've got a beautiful mahogany color, golden brown skin. Um, the wings, they pretty much got boiled in butter, but I mean, is that really a bad thing? <laughs> we've got a little bit of skin pulling back here on the bottom part of the uh, breast, but everything else just looks amazing. I couldn't be more happy with it. This will make all your family happy. It's going to be juicy. It's going to be tender. It's going to be moist, and it's going to be delicious. So there you go, guys. That's my how to smoke a turkey recipe video. Uh, not much to it. Three ingredients, essentially, and just a little bit of time. All right. All right, guys. I appreciate you for watching. Y'all have a great Thanksgiving. I really appreciate all the support. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you that choose to go on this wild journey with me. And again, have a great and happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you next time. Y'all stick with me. We'll see what we can do. Thanks, guys. God bless.